nothing says fall like sweet potatoes, apples, and the warm cinnamon spice. And that is the ingredients we're gonna use to make this sheet pan meal with pork chops and asparagus. It's ready in under 30 minutes. It's super easy to do. It's absolutely delicious. We're gonna do it in the Ninja Foodie digital flip oven. Welcome to the Salted Pepper, where we cook for real life using real food and we keep it real simple. And today we're gonna to make a sheet pan meal. These are one of my favorite types of meals to make because they're so incredibly easy. Throw everything on the sheet pan and get it in to cook. However, different ingredients take different times to cook. So we do have to stagger this a little bit, but it's super easy and ready in under 30 minutes. So we don't have to preheat, so we don't have to worry about that. First thing I'm gonna do is get my sweet potato ready. Now I'm making dinner for two, just because there's just two of us here. You can increase this to four servings. In fact, I think this, this sweet potato is on the large side, so it probably would be at least three servings. Um, and then you can just increase your asparagus. I have about three to four ounces here, and you could take that up to six or eight. Whatever will fit on the tray, you can do same time, same temperatures, same everything. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and peel my sweet potato. That is one of my least favorite things in the world to do. I hate peeling any kind of potato, but especially sweet potatoes. But anyway, we got the job done. It just took a few minutes. Now I'm gonna cut it up. And this is actually the hardest part of the whole meal is peeling that sweet potato. So that tells you something. It's pretty, pretty easy meal to put together. I just like to cut off the ends. Then I'm gonna go ahead and cut straight down through the center. The size makes a difference. So you wanna make sure that you have uniform sized pieces of the sweet potato. And the easiest way that I do that is just cut it down the middle and then cut it into about the same size chunks. Okay, so it's probably about one and, a, one and a half inches by one inch thick. And that is going to make sure that they cook at the same time. If you put the sweet potato in whole, it would not cook at the same time as the rest of the meal. You'd have to put it in, like if you wanted to bake sweet potato, you could do that, but you would need to put this, the, put the sweet potato in probably about 30 to 40 minutes before you start everything else. All right, now that's it for the sweet potatoes. So we're gonna get them on the tray. Let me pull the pan out. I'm just using the baking tray that comes with the oven. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my sweet potatoes on here. All right, once you have your sweet potatoes on your tray, and I like to keep them like to the side, or you could put them right in the middle, that would work fine. Put them right in the middle, then you can put your asparagus on this side and your pork on the other side, that would be fine. And I'm gonna drizzle with a little bit of olive oil, maybe about, I don't know, a teaspoon or two. Then we're gonna get the spice blend. Now this spice blend is for the pork chops and the sweet potatoes. So I have a half of a teaspoon of sea salt, half of a teaspoon of black pepper, half of a teaspoon of chipotle, and a half of a teaspoon of cinnamon. Now, if you are not a fan of spice at all, or you know, like the chipotle pepper, you do not have to use that. But I find with the sweetness of the sweet potatoes and the cinnamon, the chipotle really gives a nice flavor. Just sprinkle that over top. And you could toss it around if you wanted, or you could just leave them on top, it doesn't matter. All right, perfect. Now I'm gonna pop those in to the oven at on air roast, so we're gonna go air roast for 15 minutes at 400 degrees. 10 minutes in, we'll add the asparagus, so we'll get that ready next. Go ahead and turn the oven on. We're gonna turn the dial to air roast 
400 is what we want. We're gonna take the time up to 15 minutes and hit the start button. It's gonna preheat in under a minute or about a minute and then it'll start to roast up our potatoes. Meanwhile, we will get our asparagus ready. So what I have here is a couple ounces of asparagus. Like I said, I think it's about four ounces. And this is beautiful asparagus. I asked Jeff to pick some up at the store. I couldn't even ask for better looking asparagus. It's nice and thin, which means it's gonna be really tender. And the tops are just beautiful. So I am really excited about this. Sometimes you'll get thicker asparagus. That's fine, I've tested the recipe out. As long as it's not too thick, it will cook in the same amount of time. So don't worry about that. Now, these have already been washed, but the way that I cut my asparagus is I just take one hand here, one hand here, and break it. Wherever it breaks is going to be, from here up, the most tender. So I don't cut the stems off, I just break them. Now these, you don't have to throw away. If you like asparagus soup, you could pop, there it goes. You could pop these in the freezer and use them for the base of your asparagus soup. That works great. See, if I went down here a little bit, it's not snapping. That means that's gonna be a little more fibrous, a little tougher. But there, if I went up a little bit, it will break. The asparagus is ready to go, and we'll have to wait until that reads five minutes left and we'll throw that in. We're gonna drizzle it with a little bit of olive oil and just season with salt and pepper. I don't put the spice blend on my asparagus. I prefer it with just salt and pepper, but of course you could always put the spice blend on if you want. All right, let's talk about the pork chops. So what I have here, two six ounce pork chops. They are cut at one inch thickness. They are identical in thickness or you know very close. If you wanted to make a thicker pork chop, you certainly can, but you are gonna add them a little bit sooner than I add these because they're gonna take a little bit longer to cook. So probably about 12 minutes, you're gonna uh, cook the one and a half inch pork chops for. These are one inch, they're gonna air fry for eight minutes. That's all we need to get perfectly done pork chops. At least in my test recipes, we'll see what happens now that we're doing a video that it, you know, it changes sometimes, you know? And then I'm gonna top it with my homemade apple butter bourbon barbecue sauce. This barbecue sauce pairs beautifully, beautifully with this sheet pan meal, but it's not necessary. If you didn't like barbecue sauce, you didn't want the spice of that, you could also use a little apple butter. All right, so now I'm gonna use the rest of the seasoning blend to season up both sides of each of these pork chops. So I just grab a little bit and just sprinkle it over top. Give it a little rub in there. And flip and do the same thing. Even this rub smells good. You don't have to use all of it. So I didn't use, uh, let's see, there's probably about half of a teaspoon left. You do not have to use all of it. You don't wanna overspice anything. All right, there we go. So let me clean up here. We will go until this says five minutes, put in our asparagus. Then we're gonna go another five minutes with the asparagus in, and then we switch over to air fry and we get the pork chops done. All right, so with five minutes left, we're gonna go ahead and open up the oven and pull the tray out. We wanna add in the asparagus. You can see some of my sweet potatoes moved. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put the asparagus on here. Drizzle them with a little bit of olive oil, maybe a teaspoon, and then I just like to lightly salt and pepper. So a pinch, really, not too much. All right, that's good. Back in for five minutes and then we will get the pork on. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut up my apple. 
I'm using a Granny Smith apple. You could use any type of apple that you like though. And I'm just gonna core it. I leave it with the peel on, which you could obviously peel it if you wanted. So I'm just gonna take the core out. And just take a little knife here and cut it up. Now you could really throw this in right now if you wanted, or you could wait, it's perfectly fine. I've even cooked them with the sweet potatoes before, and they're really good, but they're kind of on the soft side, so I like to add them a little bit later so they have more of a texture. All right, so I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil on them, not too much, just a little bit. Here, I'm gonna do that right on my cutting board so they're ready to go, but you could do it on the pan. And then use the last little bit of the spice to spice up those apples. If you want, you don't have to, of course. All right, so now it's time to add the pork and the apples and we're gonna switch to air fry. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this out. And it's probably easier for me to grab it all the way out. Wow, everything looks so good already. It's a lot of sweet potatoes though. All right, so now I'm just gonna throw these over here. nestle them in there and we're gonna go ahead and put our pork on so let me grab it here and then I'm gonna take this sauce this is just my apple butter bourbon barbecue sauce I'm gonna put about a teaspoon on each one spread that around a little bit this also works really well with uh, the breaded shake and bake pork chops. So if you wanted a breaded pork chop, use that recipe and you can still do the sheet pan meal. It's absolutely delicious. That's how I started testing this. And I will link to that recipe right up there for you guys. Okay, so now we are gonna switch functions. We wanna go to the air fry. We wanna take the temperature to 325 degrees. And the time is eight minutes. I'm gonna put 10 on the clock so we can check it in eight and then we'll know, do we need to go a little bit longer? All right, we are all done. And now I'm gonna make sure that pork is cooked. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. Oh wow, it looks good. Really, really good. All right, so I'm gonna take this up here. And let's take a peek at these apples first. So they did not get quite as soft as, well, no, maybe they're okay. Like I said, when I put them in with the sweet potatoes, they are really soft. Nope, they actually seem pretty good. So, all right, so let's take a temp of this pork. And we are already at 152, so we are totally done. 145 is the temperature that you need to have pork at. Um, it used to be 165, so it has changed. It's 145. I usually like to take mine out at around 140, but hey, you know what? They're done. Perfect. We're going to let them rest for about five minutes. Then I'll plate up and I'll give everything a taste. All right, so it's been about five minutes. I'm going to go ahead and plate up. So I'm going to grab a pork chop here so good an apple and some of these sweet potatoes which I just love they get really nice and crispy on the bottom oh I just love I love the sweet potatoes done this way look at that isn't that amazing all right and then look how like hardly any it looks like we didn't make any asparagus but you know that's what happens when you cook it all right now Nothing matters except for flavor, right? So let's try that, let's see how it is. First thing, let's cut the pork. I'm gonna cut it straight through the center so you can see. It should be cooked beautifully. And it is. That is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Oh, wow. All right, let's taste it for flavor.
Mm. Tender and delicious, but a tad bit spicy. So if you don't like spice, get rid of that chipotle for sure, or cut it in half. All right, I like the texture of the apples. I think I like that better than when I cooked them with the sweet potatoes. So they're a little firm. Mmm. Oh, so good. All right, sweet potato. Mmm. It's like candy. Oh my goodness, so, so delicious. All right, the asparagus. Now, if you like your asparagus a little less cooked than this, because it did kind of, during the air fry process, kind of shrivel up a little bit, more than even I like, then don't put them into air roast until about maybe two minutes in. You know, two minutes from the finished 15 minutes that we did the potatoes. Mmm. I don't know though, they're really good. They are so good, they're so tender, but yet they have a little bit of a crunch from the air crisping. Wow, I don't know, I think I would do them just like this. Mmm, perfect. Everything is perfect. It is a little spicy, I will definitely tell you that. So cut that chipotle down or cut it out. But I love the flavors this way because you get the sweet from the sweet potato, you get the sweet from the apple, then you get that little spice, you get the apple butter um, bourbon barbecue sauce on the pork chop. It all goes so well together and ready in under 30 minutes. That's the best part. So I hope you enjoy this one.